I had to build a handyman today. We're going to look at uh, ice makers. And this is a whirlpool. And so the easiest thing to first of all check is to check the water valve. And so you can manually uh, run 110 volt to the water valve if you want, uh, which is sort of tricky for people who don't use electricity much, but the best thing to do is use an ohmmeter. And make sure you get a constant reading from the ohmmeter. There should be continuity uh, in the valve between the two terminals. And sometimes the valve will become, uh, the plastic part here will become deformed. And if it's deformed, it's likely to be bad. Uh, it looks melted. And so, and as far as the, uh, the ice maker itself goes, there's normally a tech sheet in the kick panel down below where the breather is by the coils. And so as you can see here, um, they have the test points on the front panel of the ice maker. So uh, the L and the H would be line and heater, and you should have continuity there. It says 75 ohms. And then the L and the M is the motor. You should have continuity there, 8,800 8, ohms. And then the test point L and N, L and N, is to check the power, line and neutral. And you should have 110 volts there. And then we also have the T and H. T and H, that would be the thermostat. And it would be closed with ice in it, cold, frozen. And it would be open when uh, it's warm. And the L and H, L and H uh, is the heater. You should have continuity on that as well. The L and M is the motor. So here's your uh, ice maker in here. Sometimes they have the schematic inside. Here are the test points I'm talking about. And so, test those points out and you'll narrow down to what your problem is. <clears throat> and if you'd like, send for my uh, book on appliance, on how to make money in appliance repair to Bills Enterprises. P.O. Box 7021, Eureka, California, 95502, and sent 49.95. Thanks.